Malcolm Turnbull, good morning. Good morning, Roshan. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And thank you for joining us on Mornings this morning. This um, this is now broken as a story, as we as we say. Did you recently have a conversation with Peter Cundall at a gardening expo? Yes, it was on the August the 24th at uh, the ABC Gardening Show Expo opening. And I spoke to him very briefly, uh, just before we both got up and, and talked, about the pulp mill. And uh, I explained... The, the nature of the Commonwealth's jurisdiction and the limits on our jurisdiction. Uh, and I certainly expressed my very strong dissatisfaction. In fact, I said I was appalled with the way the Tasmanian Labor government, uh, supported uh, by Kevin Rudd and, and Peter Garrett, had mismanaged the issue. So Peter, um, Peter may well have gone away from that, uh, that discussion, concluding that I was uh, appalled. I, I don't like the word hate, but he could have assumed that I had very strong views about the way in which the process had been handled in Tasmania, and I do. Who brought up the subject of the pulp mill? I think Peter did. He's very passionate about it, but it was literally a conversation of a, of a few minutes, if that, uh, before we uh, got up and, uh, and spoke. I've got a very high regard for Peter, and you know he's a great environmentalist, and uh, I know he's got strong views about the pulp mill, and I, you know, I, I don't have an emotional view of you know liking or not liking the pulp mill per se my job was to assess the commonwealth environmental issues i did so with the benefit of the best scientific expertise we have in australia headed by the chief scientist and i've imposed the most stringent environmental conditions in the world on that pulp mill now uh so it and the end if the government is returned uh as environment minister uh, I will ensure that those conditions are complied with. Now, I'd, I'd have to say, uh, your listeners have got a question whether you can trust Labor to ensure those very strict conditions are going to be complied with. And if they are complied with, then from the point of view of our federal environmental issues, as the Chief Scientist has said, the mill will operate in an environmentally neutral way. Prior to going to the Gardening Expo, did you know that you would be joining Peter Cundall on the stage? Oh yes. Well, Peter was the Peter's the Peter's the star of the show. I was just a, I was just a supporting act, uh, and uh, you know it's really his his show. So I just uh, went along and said a few words, and uh, so did Peter. And then we walked around and had a look at all the exhibits and chatted to the many keen ABC gardeners. And so you're saying that you didn't use the words that you hate the pulp mill to Peter Cundall. No, I don't recall saying that, and you know I don't I've, I've not expressed a an emotional response to the pulp mill per se, you know, the pulp mill itself. What I have been appalled by and and very, very unhappy with has been the way in which the Tasmanian Labor government uh, cut short the RPDC process, fast-tracked the assessment of the Tasmanian issues, which of course then meant that we had to decide the federal issues separately. It makes much more sense if all the issues are decided together. Uh, we couldn't do that. Uh, and of course, Peter Garrett and Kevin Rudd have made no objection. You know, the, you heard from me and from other uh, coalition ministers objections to the way Tasmania was handling it, uh, but nothing from the Labor Party. So we've had, you know, we, the only criticism Labor's directed uh, that I can recall was that uh, I'd taken too long in the assessment. Well, of course, I took a little longer than some people wanted because I wanted to make sure I got the best scientific advice, the experts in the relevant fields, to ensure that we impose conditions that were uh, as stringent uh, as, as, as was needed. And they are, in fact, the most stringent in the world, as the Chief Scientist has said. I'm aware, Minister, that you, you have another appointment now, but I just wanted to, to finish up by clarifying that you're saying that it was Peter Cundall who brought the conversation up and that you didn't use the words hated the pulp mill. No, I certainly didn't say to him I hated the pulp mill. Uh, I, I don't recall whether I used the word hate at all but I certainly expressed my very strong dissatisfaction with the way in which the process had been managed in Tasmania by the Tasmanian Labor government. And look, you know, this was a brief, a brief conversation on the 24th of August that Peter uh, recalled in a very abbreviated way in a radio interview, I think, on the 6th of October. So uh, people may have different recollections, but the my dissatisfaction uh, in any... Um, uh, well, you know, my my uh, dissatisfaction is probably the best the best word to use with relating to the pulp mill has been with the way in which the process was mismanaged by the Labor Party 
at the Tasmanian end. Now, we have done a very thorough job at the Commonwealth end. Uh, I know people wish we could have dealt with all the environmental issues, but we simply can't. And, you know, I've heard people uh, on, uh, on, you know, on your radio station uh, saying I should have, you know, invoked the corporation's power and things like this. This is, this is just not legally possible. It's not open to a minister unilaterally to expand the jurisdiction of a Commonwealth environmental statute with respect to one project. We dealt with the environmental issues under the Commonwealth's jurisdiction, dealt with them thoroughly and in accordance with the law. And I might say that if you don't, as Environment Minister, deal with them according to the law, you'll end up losing in court. As you know, all of these big environmental assessments end up in court and you have to be very careful to dot every I and cross every T. Mr Turnbull, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thanks so much. Federal Environment Minister Malcolm Turnbull. And uh, we have all... Peter Cundall, we were hoping to speak to him prior to speaking to uh, Malcolm Turnbull, but Malcolm Turnbull did have another appointment. Peter Cundall, good morning. Good morning. Um, you heard... Did you hear Malcolm Turnbull talking to us just then? Oh, yes, yes. And is his recollection... Have you have you been misquoted or has this been taken out of, out of um, context? Oh, not really. I mean, put it this way. I mean, what was happened is when he got out of his car to more or less launch the show in Sydney, as soon as he saw me, and remember, it wasn't me on my own. There was 2,000 people there, and all the others were milling around. And he came up to me and he said, oh, Peter, Peter, I just want to say, I hate that so-and-so mill, right? And I laughed, and I said, so what are you going to do about it? And he said, well, to be quite honest, he said, I'm just horrified about the way it's been put through by the Tasmanian government. He was appalled at what I thought was the undemocratic way. It was hustled through Parliament, and I agree with him, by the way. And I might add that uh, I took quite a liking to him because he's so good at his job. We talked about the water, water saving, and we also talked about a whole range of things. But I did say to him, look... I said, if that thing, if you can persuade them to move that mill to Hampshire, you'd be walking through the Tamer Valley like a conquering hero, you know that. He said, but they won't move it. He said, they're determined not that they want it there. But he also said, you know, what a silly and stupid place to put it in the Tamer Valley. And then he said, he said, I'm going to put that chief scientist on it, which have you heard, right, and get him to do it. Uh, I might add that yesterday, by an extraordinary coincidence, I happened to bump into the head of guns, John Gay, and we had a discussion on it. And I said to John, I said, look, you and I agree. I don't want a dirty, stinking mill in the Tama Valley. I, and uh, he looked at me with astonishment and he said, oh, yes, that's right, but it's not going to be a dirty, stinking mill. Said, that's right, that's where we disagree, right? And we, it was quite an amicable conversation we had. There was no argument about it. But uh, what, what is happening, of course, is that one side believes it's not a question of being in the Tamar Valley, it's a question of what it's going to do to the valley and also to the environment, and particularly to the forest. So and this is the thing that Malcolm Turnbull apparently couldn't cover. He had the job of looking at the tip of a tiny, dirty, filthy, destructive iceberg. That's the way I saw it. He was on the outside, and that's as far as it goes. So, so I so think... Just to clarify the, the point, though, Peter, from this morning's discussion, and this, this is being, um, being put, out, put out as a media release by the Australian Labor Party, saying this is Malcolm Turnbull's view is that he hates the pulp mill. Would you say that what Malcolm Turnbull said to you was that he hated the pulp mill approval process or that he hated, as you've, as you've said to me, the so-and-so mill? And, and could it be that the recollection is, is not completely accurate on your part in the way that it was repeated to oh, Julia no. Roberts? No, I wasn't on my own. Remember, I was surrounded by many other people. And I also think that when he said, oh, Peter, Peter, I just want you to know I hate this so-and-so mill. I hate it. Right. He was also, I think, extremely concerned about the effect he was having on his own camp and in Wentworth. You know, I mean, that was coming up there. And so I think he also hated that aspect of it. But there's no question about it. But he's a man. Look, come on. He's as the Minister of the Environment. I think he's got an extremely keen sense of the environment and how to protect it. And he's aware of what can happen there. Whether it is going to, um, what's going to happen as a result of the decision that was made by Jim Peacock, the chief scientist, I don't know. But all I know is that everywhere I go in Australia, 
and in Tasmania, people dislike this mill. They don't trust. And above all, as I said to John Gay yesterday, what happened was the way it was railroaded through Parliament in such an undemocratic way, that's the thing that got people offside. That's the, pe the thing that made people so angry. Peter, thank you for joining us this morning. It's P a total pleasure. Peter Cundall there. And, um, so it